Okay, we're going to continue our conversation. I'm learning about scale factors, but we're going to apply it to things called maps. I think you know what a map is, but if you're not too sure, what's wrong with my computer? Oh, here it is. Here it goes. If you're not too sure, I'll tell you this. A map is really just a scale drawing of one part of the real world. So if you have a map of Vancouver, you have a scale drawing of just a small part of the world, Vancouver City. Each map, of course, has a scale. And most often, scales are written like this. They'll say, like, one centimeter is equal or is in the ratio of 20 kilometers. Or sometimes you'll see scales like this will just go one and let's say 200,000 or something like that. Okay? And in this case, when there are no units attached, you need to assume that the units are both the same and thus, in this case, are centimeters. So, in example 1A, I just want you to interpret what these scales mean. So if you see 1 colon 300, what does that mean? That just means that 1 centimeter on the map represents 300 centimeters in real life. And can you try the next one on your own then? You guessed it, 1 centimeter on the map represents 2,500,000 centimeters in real life. What is 2,500,000 centimeters in real life? That seems like a pretty big number. So in this case, let's see if we can convert the centimeters into a better unit. Just like I told you before, most often scales are written as centimeters to kilometers. So let's see if we can change the centimeters to kilometers. Anyone remember how to do that? Well, I do know that one kilometer is equal to a thousand meters. And I do know that one meter is equal to a hundred centimeters. So I guess that means if I times this by a thousand, then a thousand meters is equal to a thousand times a hundred. So that would be one with five zeros. So that would be one hundred thousand centimeters. So I guess I'm going to now just convert then the two million five hundred thousand centimeters into kilometers and note the factor I'm going to use here is one kilometer then equals to 100,000 centimeters. So just taking the 2,500,000 centimeters, I'm going to do some division. So that'll be 2,500,000. That's 2,500,000. Divide that by 100,000. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and you'll get 25. So this is just the same thing as one centimeter to 25 kilometers. And that might be something easier to work with than having a whole bunch of zeros at the end. So some scales are shown as pictures. So in this case, each one of these dashes here actually represents one centimeter on the map. So there's one centimeter, here's another centimeter, Here's another centimeter. So in this drawing, you see that there are three centimeters, and that's equal to 60 kilometers. Or, so I can say three centimeters equals 60 kilometers. Or you can write this even nicer in a reduced form. One centimeter is equal to 20. So it's looking at the first dash. It doesn't really matter which one. I like to write ratios in lowest terms anyway, so I'll say one centimeter to 20 kilometers. Okay? All right, so let's try some examples here, and let's see how we can apply what we learned last day to s maps. If the distance between two cities on a map, that's the diagram, is 8 centimeters, and the map uses a scale of 1 to 
hundred kilometers. Find the actual distance on the Earth. So once again, here's my scale factor. I'm going to now use 1 and 100. You can write the units if you want. In this case, I think the scale is centimeters to kilometers. Remind yourself that this is the model or the actual drawing, or in this case, the map, and this is the actual real life number. I said I know the map distance, or that, uh, yeah, map distance, so that's 8 centimeters. I don't know the actual one, so that will be x on the bottom. And now, how do I solve this? You got it. You cross multiply. So 1 times x equals to 8 times 100, or x just equals to 800. And what are my units here? Yes, it's kilometers, because the actual distance uses kilometers. Okay. Okay, try example number two. St. John's, that's in Newfoundland, way on the east coast, is 2,125 kilometers from Toronto. How far apart are they on a map with a scale of 1 to 50 million? Whoa. So once again, there are no units here. So you might want to convert this into kilometers if you like smaller numbers. Earlier, we said that note 1 kilometer is equal to 100,000 centimeters. So if you want to just convert this into kilometers, we will divide by 100,000. Okay, you can use a calculator if you wish, or just cross out the zeros, it's up to you, but I'll use the calculator, 50 million, so the 1, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, divide by 100,000, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and this is 500. So this is the same thing as 1 centimeter is equivalent to 500 kilometers on this particular map. So therefore, if I were to say now, I want to find out how far apart are they on the map, that means I want the model number, and I have the real life number, 2,125 kilometers. Once again, I'm going to ask you to solve by cross multiplying, so 500x equals 1 times 2,125. 2,125 equals to 500x. I must divide both sides by 500. Do -do 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 -do. How about 4.25? And that would be centimeters on the map. So, 2,125 kilometers on this particular map would be 4.25 centimeters away. All right, next page. So, now when working with maps that represent large areas, sometimes we'll use a ruler to measure distances that lie cities apart from each other. So bring out your ruler, okay? This particular map has a scale here of one centimeter equals to 460. And I'm asking you if the scale of the map of Canada is that, what is the actual distance between Calgary and Halifax? So I want you to actually measure from Calgary to Halifax in a straight line. Use your ruler to do that and go ahead now and try. I got an answer of 8 centimeters. So now to find the actual distance, let's once again write our scale factor. 1 centimeter, 460 kilometers. This equals to 8 centimeter over x. And yes, cross multiply to solve. We get 1 times x equals 460 times 8, that's I think 3,680 kilometers. So the actual distance is 3,680 kilometers. Okay. Part B says if the scale of the map is still the same, how much farther in kilometers is it between Calgary and Vancouver? So you're going to be now looking at this distance, calculating that, or measuring that. And then between Vancouver and Winnipeg, that's this distance. Okay, do some measuring. Okay, let's see what you get.
so I got here Calgary and Vancouver the distance is 1.5 centimeters and Vancouver to Winnipeg was 4 centimeters so how much farther you can do this a few different ways so I'll let you try whichever you wish I'm going to actually calculate the difference between these two measurements so the difference is you're trying to find the difference between the two 4 centimeters minus 1.5 centimeters is actually equal to 2.5 centimeters so that distance how much farther is it it's equivalent to whatever 2.5 centimeters is in real life so now using my scale factor I'll say 2.5 on the top and this is just like the previous question and we'll just cross multiply and solve so 1x equals 460 times 2.5 I don't want to do this in my head this time. 460 times 2.5, that's 1,150. So the distance difference is 1,150 kilometers. All right, distance between Fort McMurray, the oil sands capital of Canada, and Winnipeg is 1,200 kilometers. So in this case, and we're talking about a different map now, or yeah, we're saying that what is the actual scale of the map in Canada at the top of this page. So what I'm saying is, look, you know what, maybe this number, that was a lie. I now know that the distance between Fort McMurray and Winnipeg is 1,200. And the question is, what is the actual scale? So if I were to now use my ruler to measure between Fort McMurray and Winnipeg, what is this actual length? And I got here 2.9 centimeters. 2.9 centimeters. So now to actually find the scale factor, what should I be doing? I should be taking 2.9 centimeters and dividing that by 1,200 kilometers. Okay. <coughs> and if I want to get it into that form of one centimeter equals to whatever, let's reduce this to one. So I'm going to divide both numbers on the top and the bottom by 2.9. So I'll take my calculator again, 1200 divided by 2.9, it actually is about 413.8, so 413.8. So my scale factor is really 1 centimeter is equivalent to or equal to 413.8 kilometers. Now, part D just says, look, regardless of the scale factor, if I just told you if 2,600 kilometers is between Saskat Saskatoon and Montreal, then tell me how far is it between Vancouver and Toronto. So what you need to do now is just do the measurements. What are the measurements between Saskatoon and Montreal? I'll measure really quickly right now, and you do the same. I've got 5.5 centimeters. How far is it between Vancouver and Toronto? I got about 7.2 centimeters. So because you know the actual and the model, you can come up with the scale factor by just using this information between Saskatoon and Montreal. So the scale factor would be 5.5 over 2600. Now we can use this scale factor now to help us determine the actual distance between Vancouver and Toronto. Because now I'll take that scale factor of 5.5 over 2600 and make it equal to 7.2 over, I don't know, whatever you're looking for, which is the actual distance. Once again, cross multiply to solve. I'll let you try this one and I'll give you the answer right here. So double check, please do the actual math and let's see if you can get this answer here too. And if you can, you're set for class next day.